the place for comic book and anime reviews. Hey guys, I'm with the Premier Capital 12 YouTube channel. Hey, we are your comic book and anime review. And then you have my review for the Bleach live action movie. So, um, this was a movie that I was really worried about um, going into it. Um, I know the trailer looked pretty okay. They were like bad. They were bad trailers, but you know, I remember a long time ago, Tyler Kuba used to say, you know, he never wanted Bleach to be live action. Like that was, he never wanted that to be a thing for Bleach. Um, so I never really agreed with him making a live action movie for it. But when Bleach ended in like a really fast paced way, and it was a rushed ending, and it didn't really feel like it was it, it was well done. Um, getting it live action was probably the best case scenario for it, and that to me is really sucky. Uh, I thought they could have done more, could have been something different, but instead we just got, you know, a live action Bleach movie, and that was it. We didn't get a sequel series. We still haven't got a sequel series. I mean, I guess we, can, we got like a spit off one shot, maybe, I guess. Um, that was a witch show or something like that. I forget what that manga was. Um, but it was supposedly what it was like at the very end, it was like a bleach spin off. Like at the very end, that was the shock moment. Um, was it being a bleach spin off? Um, but yeah, this, this, um, this was pretty good. This was like, it turned out to be pretty good, and I'm surprised by that. Um, and it, it actually does, it follows the story fairly well while also making some really cool changes to it and like these are really cool changes i thought um it it, it makes them to turn yourself into like the obedience contained story pretty much um uh, instead of like saying for society or because i think they kind of realized like the creator realized that like bleach probably wasn't going to get a sequel movie um they probably realized bleach is not the popularity it used to be in japan uh, and that this live action movie was probably the best case scenario for them and they're lucky they got one movie pretty much uh, it does kind of leave open door for a uh, sequel, but not really. Um, really this, this can be the end. It probably is going to be the end of it. Um, just, just, just in general. Um, the movie, um, you know, the, the, it, it, some of the changes they kind of making in the movie were, um, you know, we get to see the Uri, we get to see Urio in this movie, and the fact for Urio looks amazing like the effect for his arrow his bow it was really cool like i really enjoyed the effect for um or y'all was really impressed by that um but like they they really kind of did the whole like him like doing the whole competition him breaking the thing and having hollows come attack it really goes nowhere it it it, it really feels like an extra thing in fact Woody in this whole movie kind of feels extra but i'm really glad it's in this movie because it's because of that effect they added on to him it uh, was really well done. Um, we just see uh, Rukia, and uh, he should go training a whole lot more than we did in the series. Uh, we got her trying to make him stronger pretty much throughout. Um, so that way he, uh, he can fight Hollows. And, like, like the movie does a pretty good job of, like, um, explaining their relationship and, like, really developing it. Um, much like the Soviet Union Shinigami arc did in the anime. And, like, you really can feel, like, the emotions being brought between the two of them and how their relationship is, like, evolving throughout. And I really dug that. Um, I thought that was really well done. Um, they never say I love you. Uh, so, if you're one of those people who are really, like, Ichi Rookie fan like I was, um, you don't get that moment in the cinema, but you can still kind of feel like there's, there is this greater than friendship bond between them. And... I'm really impressed because it does end in a way that um is I should I should like the way it is, but it's so beautiful. It ties everything up so nice and cleanly that it really does work. Um, this movie's been out for a while now, so the movie pretty much ends with uh, Rukia leaving Ichigo pretty much and taking away her Shigishi and Gaia power at the very end. And as they walk out, and that was that was a that to me that was a really great ending for um this series, uh for her to take back her she and got her and leave Ichigo by himself, like where he won't remember her anymore. And 
I thought that was a really noble sacrifice that Rukia made in, the, in that very moment. Um, I, I don't know what to say about like beyond that. Um, Orihime and Chad and everyone else are in the movie as well. They don't have much to do. Um, if she doesn't get Shinigami power, we don't get to see him fight against Grand Fisher. Um, the way that movie is structured is not great. Again, with the Uryu scene was never necessary. There's also like they bring up um, Grand Fisher and like Masaki's death and in the middle of the movie. Um, that probably should have been more towards the beginning half instead of at, in the middle. Because um, that really does become like the overarching theme of like losing his mom and how much his mother means to him. Um, oh, that was a really great emotional hook in the movie and that really should have been developed more. Um, the use of Byaka and Renji in the movie was really well done. In fact, the, the fight between Renji and Ichigo is absolutely amazing. Uh, I really enjoyed that fight. Um, and it's actually a really tense fight because since they made so many changes, like, I was really worried they, there's something they wouldn't do. Like, I was worried they wouldn't show Renji Zanpakuto. I mean, they really wouldn't show what Byaka could do. Um, in the movie, but they did, they showed us all that, and I really enjoyed it, and the fight between Renji and Ichigo is really awesome, and I, 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 really, I just love this movie, I really enjoyed it, um, this is definitely on the level of the Death Note live action movie, not the Netflix one, the original Death Note from Japan, Death Note, Death Note, the last name, and Death Note, it'll change the world, that trilogy, um, that they're definitely on that level, and even though we probably won't get a sequel to this, I am definitely fine with where this one ends off. So that's pretty much my thoughts on the Bleach live action movie, you guys. Little comment below about the Bleach live action movie, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.